Hey everybody, it's Scott, Simcoe Spring Service. People come into the shop all the time and they have a broken leaf in the one side of their one spring. And they always ask me, it's like, well, are the other leaves are any good? Or is the other side still good? And we never really have an answer for the question. So what I really want to do is break down the spring today for you and show you exactly how we strip it down, what we look for. We're going to check it for cracks. We're going to see whether or not the spring's any good. We're going to check it to see if any of the other leaves are going to break at any time soon. But first I want to show you a couple leaves. I want to show you how they crack. And I also want to show you a cracked leaf that isn't broken yet. So you can really see what they look like before they break. And hopefully when we crack the spring open, we can show you some really cool stuff and what we look for. So here's a broken spring. And right here you can see that the leaf actually cracked first. And once this let go, it actually tore the rest of the leaf in half in one shot. So it was pre-cracked. And you can see the depth of that pre-crack right there is probably about almost halfway through the material. So you can actually see how the leaf would look ahead of time and then as it bent, it snapped and tore itself in half and then came apart. So here's another leaf that we have and you can see how deep that crack is. Like it's, I can stick my entire fingernail inside of there, but it hasn't got to the point where it's completely snapped in half yet. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a spring, we're gonna strip it down and we're gonna check it for cracks like this. The spring looks perfectly fine now, but once we open it up, we'll actually get the true story. We're going to cut these clips and then we're going to pop the center bolt and we're going to see if this spring's any good. Just taking a first glance at these leaves, I can see that a couple of them might be pretty rough. So let's get into it. So here we go on leaf one. We already got some heavy pitting in there. And those are actually tiny little cracks and just like hundreds and hundreds of tiny little cracks are already starting in there. Uh, looks like these go probably about a quarter to a third of the way into the steel. So you've lost about a third of your strength in the material. So this is leaf number two and you can see the patterning that's going across here. So those heavy pits have now connected. So you got a pit here, pit here, pit here, pit here, all the way across and now they've started to connect together. So that would be defined as a slight crack or it's cracking or starting to crack.
So before I get too deep into this thing and get it really clean, I wanted to show you kind of what they look like. You see how it's a darker rust mixed in with a lighter rust? That you can tell is now a deeper crack. So we're gonna clean that out with a brush and I'll probably burn it out with the torch and get all that little bits of debris out of there so we can actually see the crack. And then here's on the other side, you can see another crack starting right there. So I'll do the same thing. I'll, so I'll scrub it out real good and I will uh, hit it with the torch, burn out all the little bits so we can see it really good. There you go. Now that I burned it out with the torch, you can see how deep that crack is. Uh, I would say it's at least halfway through the steel, just like that first one that I showed you. And if you go on this side here, this one's the same way. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna, oh, I got another one in here. So yeah, you can see all sorts of deep cracks in there starting. And on this side, there you go. And on this side too, see all those cracks starting in there. So I'll say that this spring is pretty much garbage. Um, so now we have multiple leaves with multiple cracks on multiple ends. So you're looking at replacing at least a minimum of like four to five leaves. And if we replace this many leaves, we should put a whole new spring in because the amount of labor, material costs and stuff like that, we can actually purchase a whole new spring and sell it to them for a lot less cost than uh, repairing it. So we can do that for them. So this particular spring, we had already replaced both sides. Uh, the customer came in and the other spring had a couple of broken leaves in it. So we just assumed that this spring would be just as bad as the other side and we were correct about it. So what I'll do is I'll snap one of these leaves in half so you can see inside of it. And I'll show you that right now. So it's not showing up very good on the GoPro, but if you can see right here, there's a little crack, there's a little crack, there's a little crack. All the way along here, there's these little circles. And that's those cracks that I was showing you earlier. So these ones aren't actually that deep. They were probably only about a quarter of the way down into the steel, not a third. But you can see what that's exactly where it broke on every single last one of those cracks. So there's a crack there, 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 there. So quite a few of them. So there you go guys, I just wanted to show you how springs break and uh, what it looks like when they're cracked and what we look for when we're trying to diagnose a spring. Um, so you really don't know what kind of quality your springs are until you crack them open and take a look. So the cracks can be deceptive and you gotta sometimes scrub them out and find them. And then you can determine whether or not the spring's any good or not. And sometimes you gotta determine whether or not you wanna spend the money twice to take the spring out, repair it, and then pay it again to take it out and repair it. Or at the second time, if you put a new spring in, you're just incurring more costs. So it's, it's always that cost, cost to benefit ratio, like how long you're gonna keep the vehicle for, what kind of, uh, like how much you use it in a year, all that sort of stuff. And it's always something that we always have to weigh constantly to determine whether or not it's uh, cost effective to replace the spring, or if it's cost effective to do a repair based off of how many of those little cracks that we find. So I'll take a picture of this and I'll show it at the end of this grain structure because it looks really cool up front and the GoPro unfortunately does not show that up, uh, up close. So if you uh, like this kind of content, don't, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you uh, want me to, 
if you want to see anything else cool from Spring Shop, just let me know and I will uh, see if I can film it for you. All right, have a good day and take care.